Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Accenture exam. Today, I am going to share some important coding questions which are asked in the latest type of Accenture on September. I will show both coding like the basic one and the advanced one also, so please wait till the end, okay. And uh, like I will also share some experience of the latest type that means the right now Accenture is Accenture exam is now being conducted by higher pro not by metal okay so basically students are facing one problem that is uh, in compilation okay so even though higher pro is conducting the questions difficulty question pattern are not that much different quite same okay and the concept of the questions are also same so basically students are facing uh, the compilation problem due to some selection problem okay say so let's say they are familiar with python 3.8 but they are choosing python 3 so there may be some syntactual error or there may be some compilation error due to that okay so i hope you understood like you have to choose the uh, you have to choose the correct programming language with correct version so that your compilation will not be a problem still there is some problem in system so if you face this this uh, problem then please raise a ticket like from india campus website and don't uh, like make mistake from your side okay so let's go to the questions part so the first question was regarding average number of event position okay in this question actually you are given an array of integers you are given an array of integers and you have to find the uh, at first you have to find the even indexes then you have to find the even indexes average number i mean even index values average that means even index are here 0 0 2 4 okay so value of those even index are 3 8 and 4 so 3 plus 8 plus 4 is equal to what uh, 8 plus 4 that is 12 plus 3 that is 15 so 15 by 3 is 5 that's why output is 5 that means if you are given an integer array you have to find the even index at first then the even index values average you have to find that so let me show you another example let's say the array is 4 5 6 7 8 sorry 8 and three okay so here total number of elements are one two three four five six and the even index are zero two four okay zero two four so let me take another so three and two okay so even indexes are zero two sorry two four and six zero two four six so value of those indexes are four plus 6 plus 8 plus 2 so the uh, value becomes 4 plus 6 10 plus 8 18 plus 2 20 so average will be 20 by 4 that means 5 okay so i hope you understood like this is the basic one so i hope uh, there will be no such confusion again still if you have any problem any confusion then let me know in the comment section or you can damn me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tf and also you can join our telegram channel t.me slash we can not there you can clear your all confusion okay so let me show you the next problem and if you want the prime materials of Accenture in which i have included all the recent questions with answers all the previous year questions so that you can prepare better so if you want then please let me know in the comment section or you can damn me at my id instagram.com slash taken.tf okay i'll try to assist you this is paid but very affordable okay so the next problem is this dividend actually this question was asked earlier like on september itself and also on uh, august okay so this is being repeated so dividend problem is like you will be given one divisor one quotient one remainder and you have to find the dividend that means that you, you you have to know the formula of dividend that is equal to divisor divisor multiply sorry divisor multiply div, uh, quotient then plus uh, the remainder okay so divid, divisor multiply quotient plus remainder so if the divisor is 8 quotient is 7 remainder is 1 then your output should be 8 into 7 that is 56 plus 1 that is 57 okay so 57 will be 
your output that is the dividend okay so i hope you understood so let's say if you have any still have any problem then also you can damn your question okay i will try to assist you so guys if you have not subscribed yet so please subscribe the channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want so that i will be motivated okay and please share this content okay so let me show you the next problem that is regarding perfect number and this is the advanced coding question okay guys whatever i have shown till now na dividend problem this is repeated and i have already uh, given you the solution in the earlier video and also average number this is not fully repeated but still the concept of the question is same like average of an array okay so if you know the solution then please give the solution in the comment section i will love it okay so let me show you the advanced question that is regarding perfect square sorry perfect uh, yeah perfect square numbers okay so basically the problem statement is given a number n find the minimum number of perfect square numbers that means uh, let's say a perfect number means like 16 9 4 that means uh, whose square root is is an integer okay so 16 is 4 9 is 3 4 is 2 this way okay so and also this is given that the whose sum equals to n you have to find that okay so let's say there is a number n that is 12 it is given as input okay your output should be 3 because you can divide this 12 as 4 plus 4 plus 4 so 13 sorry 12 and these all are perfect square these all are perfect square so the minimum number of these equal to 3 so that's why output is 3 okay you can say that like i can divide this as 9 plus 4 minus 1 no you can do that you cannot do that because they want only sum okay no no uh, any subtraction okay so basically you have to do by minimum operation okay so next problem next input is like n is equal to 13 so you can do like nine, uh, yeah whatever i have thought like 9 plus 4 these are all itself a square okay itself a perfect square and their sum is equal to the n so number of perfect square needed is 2 to make this equal to 13 okay so that's why output is 2 okay so i hope you understood so let me show you another sample input let's say the number is uh what the number is 15 okay so what you have to do sorry yeah number is 15 so your output should be what 4 why because 9 plus 4 that is 13 plus 1 plus 1 because 2 is not perfect square so 15 can be divided like 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is 9 is perfect square 4 is perfect square that is 13 but 2 is not perfect square that's why we have to include 1 and 1 again so total number of uh i mean perfect square needed is 4 so that's why output is 4 so i hope you understood okay so this problem can be solved by dynamic programming so i hope you will do the solution actually i am having eyes problem i cannot see the screen so for a long time so that's why i am not giving you all the solutions so if you want the solutions then please uh, comment down that we want next video with the answer of this question okay so please comment down i'll love it okay and i will also give importance to your comment so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the place regarding any comment that you want and also if you want all the recent questions with answers then please give the like please consider our prime materials this cost only 79 rupees and this will be very much helpful to crack accenture so thank you for today's session